the king revealed what appeared to be a hole in his sock during a visit to a historic mosque on Brick Lane, East London, on Wednesday. The small hole in the black sock on his right foot was visible as he took off his shoes to adhere to custom. The king and the queen consort were greeted by huge crowds as they made their way down Brick Lane, the symbolic face of London's Bangladeshi community. More than a thousand well-wishers lined the route as the couple followed a group of dancers scattering flower petals in their path. During an occasionally chaotic visit, the king planted a tree and was given a box of jalebi and Bengali samosas by a local restaurant, promising to try some later. Any hopes of quenching his thirst were dashed, however, when he was offered a cup of tea in the crowded Graham Bangla restaurant. The king was praised for his willingness to listen to multicultural Britain. Aisha Qureshi, co-founder of British Bangladeshi Power and Inspiration and one of the king's hosts for the visit, said she asked him to visit Brick Lane when he met representatives of Britain's South Asian community in Edinburgh. The king honoured his memory by planting a tree in the local park which was renamed the Altab Ali Park in 1998.MS Qureshi, 44, a lawyer, said the royal visit showed how engaged his majesty is with multiculturalism and the anti-racism movement. She added, there is racism within British society. But what this demonstrates is the fact that the king is very attuned to the communities of this country and wants to reign in a way which is inclusive and supportive of those communities. The fact that he has come here today is very demonstrative of the fact that he listens to people's concerns and that he supports and understands. After the tree planting, the royal couple were driven the short distance to Brick Lane where Camilla was presented with a bouquet of flowers by Aya Hussein, 3. The only note of dissent came from a white man waving a black flag and a card with the legend, No, Heart, for a Nation. We are the last Jewish traders in this Bengali area. The king noticed his wrist splints, the result of an accident in which Mr. Epstein broke both his wrists, and asked how he was doing. Later, Charles paid a visit to the University of East London to mark its 125th anniversary. After greeting staff, the king shook hands with the students who had lined the entrance. Charles appeared to say, oh, and smiled before moving on to greet other students. The king chatted to three mothers and their infants who had agreed to wear headcaps fitted with electrodes to measure brain function, stress levels, and heart rates. He also visited a virtual hospital building where trainee medics practice their skills on lifelike mannequins which can blink, talk and even respond to questions. Finally, the king was shown various sustainability projects and was given a gilet made from a fabric found in plants grown in regenerated water wetlands. He was also given a silk scarf for the queen consort, which he said he was sure she would like.